Put it on ice, bitch, Dr. Pepper Feeling so clean, it don't get no fresher Chilling in the freezer when I'm under pressure I put it on ice, bitch, Dr. Pepper Hello guys, so welcome back again to my YouTube channel So for today, we're going to do a review So for this review guys, I know matagal itong nailabas Matagal na itong nandito sa atin sa Pilipinas So it is not yet available sa mga local drugstore, I mean sa mga mall, but this is uh, officially available sa online. So today we will be reviewing a Dermacol Foundation. Marami nag-rave sa foundation na to guys, kasi if I'm mistaken sa mga nakikita kong description sa mga YouTubers din na most of them are uh, declaring na this is one of the most, I mean, I mean ito na raw yung pinaka uh, full coverage So, syempre, sinubo ko din naman, what if, ano nga ba talaga meron dito sa foundation, sa foundation na ito. Anyway, guys, hindi biro ang kanyang presyo. It costs 800 pesos. Kay, um, if you're wondering where did I bought mine, I got it from Hot Finds My Line Shopee. So, I'm going to put the link on the description box. I believe they do have the IG and the Shopee account. So, doon na lang tignan. So, here, Dermacol Film Studio Parang the Rug Makeup Cover. Waterproof SPF 30 and hypoallergenic. Um, ang expiration niya is 2 months. Ay, ito ma, sorry. 2 years pag na-open mo na siya. And, uh, yeah. Guys, beware. May mga kumakalat na fake na dermacol. So, even itong parang code na yan, guys. Yung eh, parang code na yan. Napi-fake na din siya ngayon ng mga, ano, ng mga gumagawa ng ganitong uh, Dermacol. And I get the shade 221. Guys, yung una ko in order is 218. Buti na lang hindi pa siya na-ship. Kasi 218 is uh, yellow undertone siya, guys. Pero, it's quite light for me. Nung nakita ko yung mga ibang review, I mean, a medium skin. Hindi um, naman ako ganun kaputi, guys. Pero yon. And then, when you open it, may makukuha kayong as usual, little tube. Parang siyang pangkulay ng buhok, actually. So, parang siyang pangkulay ng buhok. Anyway, for application, I'm going to use a brush and a sponge. Medyo kinakabahan ako. Sana hindi ako nagkamali sa shade Aquino ako. Kasi kapag nagkamali, patay tayo siya. Okay. I think hindi ako nagkamali. So, careful tayo sa pag... Kasi hindi naman nababalik. Right. Wow. Ngayon pa lang, masasabi ko na yung mm, coverage pa lang. Te. Ayan. I think I got the right shade for me. Medyo pinkish undertone siya, pero um, ano rin? Oh my God. A little goes a long way. Nakover niya na kagad yung mga veins ko. See? Okay, so pinapatuyo ko na lang yung aking moisturizer. Ang ginagawa ko kasi is Jeju, Al uh, Jeju Aloe Vera 99% from the fr uh, from the face shop. So, let's start. At least dry na. It's dry, dry, dry na, Darla. I get the right shade for me. I think so. Oh my God. I did... Oh. Wow. Guys, careful. God. Wow. Ano? Ano ako? Wow. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Yung masabi ko, ang ganda. Ang nag... Okay, let's finish this. Wala siya amoy. Ini-imagine ko what, what if 218 pa yung in-order ko. Mas maputi pa sa akin. Pero look, um, I think I got the two shades lighter on my skin. Pero gagawin ko na siya ng paraan mamaya. Personally guys, hindi naman siya ganun kaputi sa akin. Kasi dahil siguro nung sa lightings ko. Pero I'm going to show you the, the normal lightings kapag indoor. I don't need to use concealer anymore. And I don't need to build up the coverage anymore. Look at that. It is totally full. I can totally say na 
3 to 5 times ang coverage niya compared sa mga drugstore foundation at uh, talagang mm, ba, it doesn't feel lightweight mararamdaman mo talaga siya sa face talaga mayro kang mag-feel lang mabigat do totoo siya velvety finish hindi ganun ka matte may nakita pa ang konting gloss sa nose ko ayan ito niya naman now I'm going to use a sponge on the left side Okay, so in terms of application, mas nagustuhan ko or mas na-appreciate ko si um, si brush kaysa kay sponge. Um, kay brush kasi, hindi siya nag-iwan ng parang good good or tricks. And at the same time, lahat ng product na punta sa mukha ko, hindi ka tulad kay sponge na parang na lesser up yung coverage niya. Mas na-absorb ng sponge yung foundation sa halip na malagay siya sa mukha ko. And yeah, so uh, I got the one shade lighter on my face. Kaya na paglabas ko para ayusin yung contact lens ko, guys. Sabi ko yes, it is my shade. Um, may, um, sabi ko ba't kaya ganun pag sa camera or sa lighting ko? Okay. If we will go back, it has SPF 30, so medyo mataas. So, medyo nakaka-apekto siya kapag natutukan siya ng ilaw kasi yung SPF meron siyang white cast. So, expect nyo kay, um... If you're not a white cast fan or hindi nyo forte ang, pag ang white cast na, na foundation guys, <clears throat> probably this foundation is not for you because it has a sunscreen protection or a, meron siyang SPF. Yun yung reason kung bakit may flashback sa camera yung foundation. So yun, tatapos ko na lang muna yung makeup and I'll be right back and update ko lang mga kanagay guys. Okay, so I am done with my makeup right now. So it is now already... 9.33 na ng umaga and I'll be right back for an update. Hi guys! So I'm back. So it is already 12.53 na ng hapon. Ah, uh, yes, ng hapon. And it's been almost 40 and a half hours. And I can probably say the oil control is good at all. Maganda siyang tignan. Though it doesn't feel lightweight, talaga maramdaman mo na there is something on your face. Um, but for this time guys, I have to blot and magre-retouch tayo. So I'll be using a Mumuso Blotting Paper, a Bamboo Charcoal. Ayan. So we'll see how much oil ang nagkaganapan sa aking face. But yeah, the hours is good. Tagaling, guys. So, I can definitely say na uh, Dermacol is not transfer proof, I think. Ayan lang, ito nga. Halos na po yung blotting paper. Well, it doesn't matter kasi it, it is, it's been 3 and a half hours na yung nakalipas. And yeah, ayan siya guys. Ganyan karaming oil. Pero meron siyang, uh, meron siyang transfer na, na nagaganap na yun. Pero ang kinaganda kasi sa kanya guys, kahit na nagka-transfer siya guys, concealed pa rin lahat ng mga dapat makonsealed sa akin. And, uh, at ang kinaganda pa sa kanya guys, after ko nag-black, bumalik siya sa pagka-matte finish niya and uh, parang bagong apply ulit yung aking foundation. So, I'm still thinking ko kailangan ko pang mag-retouch or mag-touch up. Mas mapapabuti yung oil kung yung oil control kung, kung gagamitin ko siya ng airspan anyway i am in the shade natural uh, naturally neutral so take note of this hindi nag-oxidize sa akin si Dermacol i am in the shade 221 um for your information so yeah try ko mag-touch up gamit ang airspan Okay guys, so nakapag-touch up na ako. It is now already 101, so I'll be right back later for my final update. Hi guys, so I'm back. So it is already uh, 24 na ng hapon or it almost 6 hours na yung nakalipas. And um, guys, I'm so sorry. Nag-declared gagawin kasi ako na hindi siya nag-oxidize. Guys, nag-oxidize siya sa akin. Which, which, uh, which is that is the best thing at uh, medyo na para talaga kasi I thought magiging sayang sa akin yung foundation. Um, 
if babalik tayo ulit dito, di ba? Sabi ko sa na it is two shades lighter on my skin. Um, may pagka pinkish undertone, undertone siya guys kasi if, if I'm going to pick the 218, masyado siya maputi sa akin. So lag uh, ang naging base ko si 221, si 222, tsaka si 223. So if you are in the middle of um fair and a tan skin color, 221, 222, and 223 ang dapat ninyong pilihan. Kaya na diba nag-apply ng condition? Parang ang puti sa akin. Pero pag paglabas ko naman sa natural lighting, okay naman siya guys. So may flashback yung foundation sa camera at saka sa ilaw. So if you're a fan of this kind of foundation, I cannot recommend this foundation to you guys. Kasi may grayish effect talaga siya sa camera or sa flashback photography. So try ko lang mag guys. For the second time. So, ito yung oil na ginamit ko kanina. Ito yung oil na nakuha ko ngayon nung ginamit ko yung Coty Airspan which is mas na-lessen up niya yung pag-oil sa aking face compared kayo sa ginamit ko kay Fashion 21 na tawag dito. So, uh, uh, compared sa Fashion 21 na ginamit kong um, setting powder. Ayan. Compared ko sila guys. See? Mas maganda ang control niya kapag ang ginagawa mo sa IC Coty Airspan. But guys, I'm going to uh, tell you this again. It doesn't feel lightweight on my face right now. I can totally feel that there is something on my face. Medyo nakakaramdam ako ng lagkit pero tolerable naman yan guys. And then, um, in terms of application guys, mas may recommend ko sa inyo ang um, brush application kaysa kay uh, sponge foundation. The reason why na mas may re-recommend ko sa inyo si, si, si uh, Brush kasi mas nabibigay niya lahat yung um, pigment ng foundation kesa kay sponge kasi si sponge nag-absorb siya. It's worth for the price na 800 pesos. It's worth na siya. Matagal siya magagamit kung di naman kayo pala foundation. Um, Matagal-tagal siya. At uh, ayun. So anyway, that's it for today for my video. And uh, don't forget to follow me on my social media account. And don't also to forget to uh, subscribe on my channel and uh, don't forget also to give me a thumbs up and see you on my next video guys. Bye!